For Mike Brigham, running North America's largest solar cooperative is a pursuit of passion. I believe passionately in solar. I bought a cottage in 1985 that had no electricity or running water, decided to put solar on it rather than connect to the grid. And living off grid there in the summer, I've just become such a believer that solar is absolutely the power source that should be powering the world. In 2007, Brigham joined Trek, formerly the Toronto Renewable Energy Cooperative, and said, hey, if you guys ever want to get into solar, let me know. Little did I know I'd be handed the starter pistol and told to take charge of it. (laughs) It wasn't quite my plan to jump in with both feet, but I somehow ended up in that position, and it's just been quite the ride ever since. He's still there today. I'm the president of the Solar Share Cooperative, a not-for-profit cooperative based in Toronto, whose mission is to promote solar energy to the residents of Ontario to educate them on it and to provide one of the best ethical investments available. Today, SolarShare has 1,600 investors. So people together, I think, collectively now have invested over $36 million. In the beginning, it was keen, small, eco-investors who were investing in SolarShare $1,000 at a time. We have two sets of bonds. We have a five-year bond that earns 5% per year and a 15-year bond that earns 6% per year. A lot of people started off with one or $2,000 investments and later added to them as they could. We've gotten to reach more and more mainstream people recently, and we've had people coming in at half a million dollars. As Brigham said, this adds up to $36 million in bonds and $60 million of revenue. We are the largest renewable energy cooperative now in North America. We currently have 48 projects and one other in construction that is going to go live with any luck in two weeks, which will take us up to 49. The total value of systems generating for us right now is $60 million. SolarShare's success is due in a large part to Ontario's feed-in tariffs. Most early projects were on rooftops, These days, they're working with ground-mounted solar tracking systems. Until about a year ago, when we started doing ground-mount projects, and the last six megawatts of projects that we've done in the last year have been a new type of tracker technology from a firm called Morgan Solar here in Toronto. And as a result, we get about, or we're expecting to get about 28% more power out of a given solar panel than if they had just been fixed. We also have found out that we can keep them vertical when there's going to be a snowstorm and we can avoid snow buildup. Brigham also has a passion for electric cars. For one year now, I've been driving an electric vehicle, a pure electric vehicle, a uh, Chevrolet Bolt, Bolt like a lightning bolt, and loving it, just loving it. If people have never driven an electric vehicle, They go like little rockets. They're dead quiet with only 18 moving parts. The maintenance on them is about as close to zero as you can possibly get. Brigham now travels to his solar-powered cabin in cottage country in his solar-powered Bolt. Learn more about SolarShare in our blog at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.